Very nice. Love. <laughs> That's an intense moment right there. <laughs> It's a remarkable film. Uh, well, that is an impressive set of guns you're sporting in that clip. So you, you bulk up for part of that, you get fit. How, how do you train for part of that? And then when you want to lose the weight, what's your secret? Well, there's sensible ways, right? And then, then there's, there's naughty way, you know? And that was naughty way, um, to be honest. Well, does that, involve, that involves uh, the substitutes and that kind of thing, substances and injections? No, no, chocolate and like. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. I, I, thought like, meant, <laughs> I thought you meant uh, the, no, the, ste no. the steroid use. No, thank you. No, no. Chocolate, man. And, like, uh, and lots of pizza. And carrying my friend Peanut up and down stairs. So you, we had you, five weeks. Hold on. I, look, I know you won't think to look at me, but, but I, I eat chocolate. I enjoy pizza. No. I don't look like that. You so... do. You do. This arm, this arm is much more developed. <laughs> So, yeah, that was Naughty Way. Naughty Way. Naughty Way. Naughty Way. Naughty way. So you carry the friend up and down the stairs? Peanuts, yes. Peanuts? Yes, my, my, my companion. You have a companion? I Is have this a companion. someone who works with you, who trains? He's a spiritual counselor and a mixed martial artist. His father started training the, uh, the Guardian Angels. So his dad was involved in that? So he is a... Well, trained them in a, in a, in a, in a black San Carlos system of Kung Fu, or karate. Oh, he'll tell me off. Uh, so, I so he's Peanuts here this evening? He is, yeah. He's Peanuts in the house? Yeah, he is, yeah. He, he doesn't mind me calling Peanut as well, does he? No, no. Because no. I, I don't think he sounds like someone you'd want to upset. No. Oh, there's Peanut. <laughs> yeah. Peanut. That's P. You know what, I think I'll start by calling him Mr Peanut. I'll start with uh, uh, be a bit more respectful. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, Mr Peanut, he's training you at the moment, is he? Yeah, yeah, he is, yeah. He's my best friend and he's my son's godfather as well. Wow, well. lovely. You know, I love P. Well, Peanut, nice to have you here, sir. OK, if you want any tips, I've got a few moves. <laughs> yeah, he, he's always on the lookout, though. Is he? I bet yeah. he is. Uh, so he's training you at the moment. What's he training you for at the moment? What's your next thing that you're doing? We're doing Mad Max in, uh, in Australia. Hang for... on a second. He's going to be Mad Max, ladies and gentlemen. I love those movies. I'm so excited yeah. that they're making another one. Uh, so this is going to be shot out in Australia, I guess, like yeah. the, uh, the first few. And this is the director who did... The, Mad Max. Wow, well, the original, the original Mad Max ones, George yeah. Miller. And Happy Feet. Uh, and presumably, yeah, it was a very different kind of movie. <laughs> yeah. Are you lined up for one of them as well? Are you going to do a Happy Feet movie? If, if I'm lucky, yeah, I'd love to, yeah. <laughs> um, so for Mad Max, are you going to be out there shooting this? Um, is this... Uh, is Mel Gibson going to be in the film in some way, shape or form? Or is he involved in any way? I don't know, you know, I don't know much about that. Um... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> But I'm playing Max. <laughs> you, that you do know. That I know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you say no, though, your accent is really weird, isn't it? Because you go, yeah. I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, you don't know. <laughs> is, is that, is that but it's flexible, isn't it? But it's got a mixture of things that have yeah. gone into the pot there. Well, I pick up all sorts of things, you know, like fleas and okay. accents. Tom, uh, the Reverend Al Green was here. And amazing. He yeah, he was amazing. He had a period in the 70s when he was a party man. Right. He enjoyed it. You, I believe, have had a period where you were a little more kind of social than, than perhaps is, is sensible. I don't think I was social. I think that's why I stopped, you know. So it you was, was, yeah. was a bit mental? Yes. Okay. How would this have manifested itself? What, on a night out with you, back when you were less controlled, <laughs> how would it have begun? Uh, how would it have progressed? How might it have ended? And indeed, how long would it have carried on for? Wow. Um, <laughs> depends if you got me in the early days or the, the, the darker ones. Well, the darker ones sound a bit terrifying, frankly. Yeah. Uh, which would be the most fun one to recount? I can't remember, to be honest, because a lot of it's blackout, isn't it? So you would blackout? Of course. And this was what, alcohol? Yeah, and everything else. Yeah. Everything else. What is that, every, all the different substances available? Yeah. Most of them? Everything. Wow. Everything? All in one evening? Probably, yeah. Wow. That's, it's lucky you're still here. Yes. <laughs> and I'm very grateful to be here, you know. It's, uh, it's no joke. Where would you wake up? Where would you find yourself? I'd find myself in all kinds of places. I mean, like, I'd, uh, girl, my missus is in the audience, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. But, um, <clears throat> that, was quite, that was quite a knowing laugh. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Uh, I woke up when, uh, in a bed uh, in Los Angeles when I was supposed to meet, I think it was John Woo, one morning for something like, I think it was Bulletproof Monk. I woke up in a bed with a dude with a gun, naked. Wow. With a cat <laughs> as well. Now, I don't remember the cat. Oh. Well, the we've, dude. We've all had nights like that, though, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just yeah. as well that you've moved on from that period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I just ask you, though? You, you don't remember how you got there? Yeah, I kind of remember bits, oh, okay. yeah. 
But when you wake up next to them, them you're naked, he's naked, there's a gun, there's a cat. Mm. And the safety was off. That oh. was the scary thing. Because I must have fallen asleep looking down the barrel. Oh, mm. OK. So, who makes breakfast? Who gets the coffee? <laughs> Actually, I, I, it, we, he dro- I got him to drop me off at Pink's Hot Dogs and we sort of said <laughs> goodbye, <laughs> goodbye to each other. And you don't drink now? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> and now I'm when successful. Did you, when did you <laughs> stop? <laughs> yeah, you are. When did you stop drinking? How long have you been uh, sober for, as they say? Uh, seven years. Seven years? Well, that's quite some time. Yeah. That's quite some time. Uh, do you find it hard to stay off the juice or are you OK with it? I, 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 everybody's different, aren't they? But, um, you know, it's like, it's, it's their time. But, um, you know, I don't have the compulsion to drink. Yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, and plus, my life is, you know, is, is, un- is unbelievably much better today than Yeah, works, I bet, and you, know? you must be... Uh, I don't miss it. Yeah. Uh, let me ask, you're known for doing those kind of roles, it seems, at the moment, and although uh, uh, Mad Max is going to be a, a more of a straightforward action film than, say, Bronson is, uh, th- would you like to do something romantic, something slushy? Will we ever see you in a rom-com? I've got to earn my pipe and slippers and cardigans, you know? Like, uh, I, this is the, uh, the zenith of my attainment would be to be in a rom-com and actually be passable, you know, and, and do a good job. So, yeah, I would love to do that. Well, you're a good-looking man. I mean, you've got wonky teeth, but you're a good-looking man. <laughs> yeah, well, no, he knows you, you've spoken about your teeth, I know. Yeah, Is really there bad. pressure to fix your teeth? Do Hollywood want you to get the... Because everyone has those kind of... Most American stars have that kind of wall of white when they open yeah, their mouth, yeah, you know, yeah. the, the kind of cowl fence of white teeth. Um, <laughs> So, uh, do, they, do they ask you whether you do that for a part, uh, Tom? Yeah, of course, all the time. And, and, and you've resisted? Uh, thus far, yeah. And I'm sure I'll have to get caps and clips and whatnot and, you know, have the grill done. But if you change your teeth, you'll probably change the way you speak as well, because it does. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, teeth are so important, aren't they, when you think about it? Yeah, I... You I, need I, them. Oh, I wouldn't give mine up easily. <laughs> Tom, uh, before you go... Mm. What's this film, The Warrior or Warriors, that you're making? Oh, Warrior is a big cage-fighting film. Is that you? You're, you're yeah. the one standing up? Yeah, it's about um, mixed martial arts, which is a rapidly growing sport in America. I think it's bigger than boxing now, and it's yeah. bigger than NASCAR. And that's where you can you can do kind of martial arts boxing, but you can also use your knees and stuff like that. You can, you? Jonathan. It's pretty yes. brutal. And yes. so you presumably you, do you get damaged when you're making a film like that? I guess there must be because even though you're acting, you're doing it, aren't you? Really? Yes, you are. Yeah, yes. Um, and I'm from East Sheen, and I'm quite soft. You know, and I like my duvet and my ice cream and oh, my dog. I love duvet. I like to sit down and, and relax. And I'm very lazy, you know, unless you know, I'm getting paid, in which case it's different. And um, but and this job is very. Um, very physical, and I broke two ribs in my toe and tore the ligament in my right hand. Yeah. And Joel tore the uh, meniscus on his leg, and one of the guys broke his neck. And I... One of the guys that? broke his neck? You understand? <laughs> but he didn't even know that he'd broken his neck. How do you not know you've broken your neck? He's a cage fighter. That's well, what's, how can that be? How He's can a cage you, fighter. Did he That's go home with a broken neck? Oh, yeah. And they what? kept dropping him on his head over and over again. But he had a, a, a masseuse in there to, to rub his shoulders. A masseuse? No one knew he had a masseuse. We didn't you know he had a broken cast. neck. You need a body cast. You need a month off. He's, no one knew he had a broken neck until, you know, he started moaning. <laughs> Oh, the masseuse was doing the neck, and he went, that's a bit rough, ain't it? Yeah, he, was, he got upset he's about okay it. Now, is he? He's fighting, yeah, he's one of the champs. He's fighting, fighting again now, he's learned nothing from the broken neck incident. That's what they, you know, that's what they do, they fight. You know, they, were, they were all fighters, isn't that's it? mental, isn't it? They hurt, yeah, they hurt each other, and it, they hurt me. But you know what, although it's pretty horrible, I bet it's a great film, I bet it's an exciting movie. I hope we like so, I movies. hope so, I think it's going to okay. be good. It's like, you know, Rocky's... I am, I am very excited to see you doing so well, because I think you are tremendously talented, gifted, and obviously you apply yourself, you're an intelligent actor, oh, and you deserve you. Uh, the success, and you, you, you know, it's, it's great that you've got your life. <laughs> thank you, Sam, for coming on the show, you're a big fan. Mr Tom Hardy, ladies and oh. gentlemen. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for me. OK, cheers, Tom. Tom Hardy.